Well, hey all, uh, today I'm going to try to demo uh, using Cantor as a MIDI controller with Thumb Jam and Audio Bus. And I'm also going to uh, open up uh, Molten as a, a drum kit. Um, we'll start off by opening Audio Bus. Click on our input here and we'll add Thumb Jam. Click to open. In our effects slot, we'll use Jam Up Pro. <laughs> Jam Up for some reason when you loaded it always reads from the microphone for like two seconds before it uh, realizes that it's running through Audio Bus and corrects itself. Kind of annoying, but not the biggest problem. Alright, as we see, we got everything running here. Okay, Molten is actually. Audio Bus compatible, but we're not going to use it with Audio Bus today just because we don't want it to run through Jam Up as well as it will. I understand that in the future we will be able to select what runs through the effects slot and what does not. Let me open uh, th uh, Thumb Jam here just so I can show you what I've done. I've taken the uh, the default electric guitar and taken all the effects off of it using the edit tool here. So. Uh, so that I can run it through Jam Up and have uh, have it go through an app and give it a, a much better sound than the default sound. So I got my presets here. I've created an audio bus preset table with some things that I like to use with my audio bus setup a lot. Here's my Thumb Jam Metal setup. So we'll just load that. That's what I already had loaded. So it's all ready to go. It's just got a noise gate, the amp, a delay, a reverb, and a filter. And that's it. So, we've got everything running. Let's uh, close this down for a second and we'll open up Molten. Molten just takes a second to load its samples. Um, it's, it's an extremely ugly program, but uh, it, uh, it has its, it has its uh, functions that are definitely worth getting it. It's very simple and very easy to just make up. A drum beat. You can you can actually change the timing per step, which I've never seen before. It's really handy. You can add effects to each of the uh, drums you have here. What I've done is I've uh, I've loaded samples I've created on my computer just to give myself a you know a more um, customized sound. And I have a little beat that I've programmed here. It's just simple beat. Okay, so we'll close this for now, and we'll open up our Cantor. And uh, Cantor pretty much always comes um, in a default, um, in the default um, preset, I guess you could say. There are no presets involved with Cantor. It's a very, very basic program. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go through and uh, change some of the things. A lot of programs you can use the velocity here to change how it's going to sound, but um, Thumb Jam, I don't think the velocity actually affects it at all. Uh, we'll turn up our bends here on the MIDI just so that when we slide it sounds nicer. And we're going to turn the internal audio off because we don't want two different sounds at once. We don't want a MIDI, we want to use this as a MIDI controller and not an instrument itself. So we can adjust the height and everything here. The one thing I'm going to do is turn off the the auto octaves because I, do, I just don't like it. I like to control what I'm doing. So we'll go ahead and just slide on. So what I'm going to do is lower this just a little bit. We'll go minus 12 notes so we get a nice lower note down there. And I'm going to use the plus one here just to bring D as far to this side as to create you know a step lower guitar sort of interface okay so we're done with this right now we don't really have to do anything else there's some plenty of other copies we can do here changing things but I'm fine with the settings the way they are right now so we'll close this and we'll just go back to molten for a second just to start the drum beat okay so we got our drum beat started and we'll close this 
and we'll go back to canter. And now we're ready to play. So as you see, we got ourselves a nice little jam interface here. We can uh, we can play as much as we want or as little as we want. We can go back into Molten very easily, and uh, we can change this drum beat or you know add anything we want. And that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you very much, and uh, enjoy.